Cheryl Reeve is joining us from Sydney, Australia. Cheryl, let's get into the roster. This year we won't see, you know, Sue Burr, Diana Taurasi, Sylvia Fowles. Who are you looking to fill those shoes moving forward? Yeah, you know, and we we uh, won't have seven players that competed in in Tokyo. So there, you know, there's there's definitely a new opportunity for players, and uh, some of the younger players on those team on that team uh, will certainly step up and play a role. Um, but you just watched the WNBA finals, I assume. Uh, there, yes. There's some awfully good players from the from from the champs, uh, and so they they figure prominently in, into this. And you know, obviously a, a point guard like Chelsea Gray, who had phenomenal playoffs. Um, and, and obviously Asia Wilson, MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, my goodness. And, and Kelsey Plum, who uh, finished the third in MVP voting. So that, that's a, that'll be a nice influx of, of talent into our group. And, uh, you know, certainly, you know, Brandon Stewart, uh, no question, one of the best players in the world. You know, so we, we really have um, great opportunity with, with some young talent. And, and uh, you know, that we'll have to, you know, make, make sure that we can feature everyone and feature the depth of talent that we have. Well, you do have a depth of talent, but these women are used to playing against one another. So as a coach, yes. how do you get them used to playing on the same team in such a short amount of time? You know, what's fascinating about, um, you know, women's basketball, women's professional basketball is that everyone knows each other. There's so much crossover. Uh, and so a lot of them have played together. Uh, and if you look at the makeup of the team, you know, there's there's teammates throughout this the the, the 12 player roster. So. Um, they're used to it. And, and, you know, when they play overseas, they have to quickly get adapted to new teammates. And so I think it's something that isn't talked about enough, how easily adaptable WNBA players, players are to new teams, to new systems, uh, cause it's been their life. That's what they do. Right. Well, you do have some players from the aces and the sun on your roster. They just played in Sunday's yeah. final. Now they're hopping on a plane to Sydney. What does that say just about their commitment to team USA? Well, it's incredible, um, you know, and I'm so grateful. I know USA Basketball is so grateful. Uh, it's a commitment uh, to to participate and compete uh, with USA across your chest, and um, it's a great honor and it's a great opportunity for those players. And so it's it's uh, you know it's mutually beneficial, and and I'm thankful that the WNBA players value USA Basketball the way that that we do, and uh, it says a lot that uh, a grueling you know final series, a, a grueling WNBA season. Uh, and the agony of defeat you know, for a couple players to turn around and, and pick yourself up and go get on a plane and go try to be great for USA. Um, give, give them credit for that. Yeah, absolutely. And just for you, what excites you most about coaching international play? Uh, you know, it's, it's a whole different uh, world, so to speak, in terms of you see so many unique styles, um, you know, different coaching styles. I learn a ton. Uh, so I have really enjoyed, and it's been super beneficial uh, to my career as a WNBA coach, so each country that you play is uh, brings something new in terms of a challenge. So uh, that's I've enjoyed the heck out of that. Cheryl, we're going to play a little game of a word association with you. I'm going to list a player from your roster, and you say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. First up, Ariel Atkins. Steady. Shakira Austin. That's a good one. I'm going to say fun. Kalia Copper. You know, in the nicest of way uh, of ways, you know, just freakish. <laughs> Chelsea Gray. Uh, point God. Sabrina Ionescu. That one's interesting as I've gotten to know her. Um, competitor. Brianna Jones. Uh, resilient. Benijah Laney. Tough, just tough. Jewel Lloyd. Prolific. Kelsey Plum. <laughs> How about this? I, I use a hyphenated word, well-conditioned. Okay, okay, I like that. Brianna Stewart. <laughs> ah, just phenomenal. Alyssa Thomas. When I think of I mean, just, I, I use the word toughness already, but um, I have some other words that are coming to mind that I can't use probably uh, in, a, in a very good way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tough as nails. Tough as nails. And Asia Wilson. Dominant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for playing. You've got your hands full in the best way possible. We will be yeah. watching. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. 
What's up, YouTube? If you're looking for all things women's sports, subscribe below. WSN is the first network dedicated to women's sports, so hit that subscribe button and never miss a goal, bucket, or birdie. Every athlete has a place they own. Let's go! The ring, the slopes, the barrel, the fairway, the field, and this court. And without a doubt, this court. She makes it! It's about time to welcome the first the only that was awesome. Women's Sports Network, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh yeah, it's game on.